Hello to all of you. My name is Maria Konjelska and you are watching Polish Daily Culture. And today we we'll start talking about a new book on a Polish market called Business in a Chinese Way. And with us in the studio is a co-author of this book and the main editor Kamil Biernat. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for having me here. And you are in this role of managing this book and uh, editing it and also writing chapters in it. But it, I would say it's not your main profession because you are mostly a lawyer. But in this case, you, you decided to start with this book and to publish it with the help of, of many people. Because it's something new on a Polish market. There are so many other books about China, mostly about geopolitics or about culture. How this book is different? Uh, the aim of writing this book uh, was to help Polish entrepreneurs, Polish enterprises, Polish companies to learn how to work with Chinese entities, how to cooperate with them. So I saw personally through my very long lasting experience while working with Chinese entities and Polish entities that were eager to cooperate with Chinese entities that this cooperation usually, not uh, all the time, because we have very successful also cooperation between China and Poland, but usually it's not successful. So I just wanted, together with other authors of this book, uh, to emphasize uh, the most in important aspects of such cooperation. How to start cooperate in an efficient way, because both sides, a Polish, entrepreneurs and the Chinese one, they do make mistakes and we need to know how to work with them. Um, otherwise, a lot of opportunities uh, will be lost and this is something we don't want to. And also the second reason uh, for writing this book is also to encourage other Polish entities to start looking into Asia. Because I do strongly believe that Asia is a huge opportunity for Poland especially due to these geopolitical uh, um, reasons that we have as of today. So we, as, as a country, need to have better connections with other parts of the world. I'm not mentioning all, also only China, but it's also South Korea, it's also Japan, it's also Middle East, uh, to be safe and to have a thriving economy. And this, is, this was the, the, other, the second aspect. And the third one also to show that uh, China uh, for Poland is not an enemy. Uh, it's, uh, I have a lot of friends there. I, have, uh, I know a lot of uh, very well operating Chinese um, entities. And recently in, in Poland, I've noticed that there were a lot of comments or books written by people who've never been to China, actually. How China is a huge threat for Poland. I, I disagree with this because I believe that China, as I said, is a huge opportunity for us. So these three reasons were behind uh, writing this book. Plus, uh, it's always, for me, um, very um, painful situation when I see that the Polish companies, Polish big entities that are trying to enter into the market lose their money there. Uh, they don't know how to do this, they don't know to which person, to whom to turn to in, 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 in China, how to work with Chinese. Uh, they face a lot of legal issues, a lot of legal problems, uh, despite the fact that they are even the biggest Polish entities. Uh, so this is some kind of guide, how to do this business properly. So any other books that, you, that are available on the market, they just focus, as you said, on the culture, on geopolitical issues, but they are they never said, or in this book, you, you cannot find any useful information how, in fact, to do this business properly with Chinese. And here you can find everything what we've learned during our like uh, Your professional experience. life. Yes, I, I would say that all of us in Poles are, I would say, very eager for us to be successful at the Chinese market. I, I would see that there is some kind of expectation that eventually we enter this market, we are there, we are Polish products are visible at the airport, Polish products are visible in supermarkets. It's still unfortunately not the case. 
and maybe with the help of this book it will start to change. I hope so and to be also safe from a geopolitical perspective you need to be rich and uh, by being rich means to mean something also and I think that uh, Poland still tries to find its place in the Western civilization. Uh, so we are trying to do this, we are trying to build our brand and also the brand of our companies. But also we need to see that those countries are not always so friendly to, 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 to Poland, to Polish entities. And it's much easier for Polish entities to build very well operating companies in other parts of the world like Middle East, like Asia, because we have a very good brand there. So use this brand. Just uh, and again. We to put a point here. And it was a very interesting punchline to say that a Poland has a brand and uh, is recognizable also there in Asia. And we have to use this opportunity uh, to enter the market. You can do it with the help of this book. And I keep the fingers crossed for all of you. And please stay for another episode because we'll a little bit open the cover of the book and tell you more what's inside. And thank you for watching the show.